What is up, YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be profiling to you my um, my Mystic Mind burn deck. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys don't click off the video. Um, I just got off. Uh, I just came back from locals. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, so if I like sound tired, it's because uh, yeah, I had a six round locals, which is crazy. With like like 33 people, it was like yeah, six rounds. Um, I went X one. I lost the first round, and then I went out through um, the rest of the time. So yeah, I uh, just wanted to show you guys my Mystic Mind profile. I know a lot of you guys probably hate this deck or hate Mystic Mind, um, but I was like, if it's not banned, I might as well uh, try and see what I can do with it. Uh, so yeah, I, I like uh, Mystic Mind a lot. So uh, yeah, hopefully I don't lose all my subscribers. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'll get on with the uh, deck. Um, so yeah, I play for monsters, uh, triple mono Iwato. Um, I like this card a lot um, because like turn one, um, a lot of people think that like, oh, Mystic Mind's a like, really good turn one, but um, a lot of times uh, it's only good if you like see Demise of the Land or like combinations of certain cards. Um, and if you open up like this with Mystic Mind, it's really good because um, the interaction is like you can summon this, activate Mystic Mind, um, and obviously your Mystic Mind sticks. Um, and then um, during your opponent's turn, if they like summon a monster and then try and like kill your mystic mind because you guys both have the same amount of monsters um you can like um have the chain work where this goes back at the end phase uh, to your hand and then mystic mind will trigger and it'll stay on the field um so it's also good going second again boards because you can like summon it and then uh slap mystic mind down it's kind of the same reasoning as playing like dark ruler uh so yeah really cool card uh, and then the last of the monsters we just play triple um d shifter um, enough said this card's in insane um, helps you go second i guess like tier so they don't set up uh eradicator because that's like the like auto like that's probably the worst the uh, worst sport that tier can make against you is is uh eradicator so this just helps them uh not be able to do that they just pass and then you hopefully they'll summon a monster or something so you can just play mystic mind and just like win from there and then for spells uh the uh the best card in the deck obviously mystic mind um not really gonna say too much about this card before i get like roasted in the comments uh but yeah you gotta play three of that card um, and then probably like the pseudo mind cards, uh, triple demise of the land. This card is so good. Like the fact that it can't get, um, ash is insane. Um, and the fact that it's not once per turn, it's just, this card just crazy. Um, such a good card. Uh, and the one terraforming and the one, uh, metaverse. Uh, so we're playing pretty much eight copies of mine. So yeah. And then for, this is like, I love, um, the list that won the YCS was playing the Ojama package. Uh, but instead of that, I like uh, Field Barrier instead. Um, because this is another combination of cards you can open up with mine. Um, you can like play this and then play mine. So you have like a good uh, first turn, um, like mine, uh, field. Um, and also it stops your opponent from playing the uh, tier field spell, which is pretty cool. Um, so unfortunately it doesn't stop Cosmic Cyclone. Um, but you have like Judgment and Bribe to stop that. Uh, so yeah, just really good card. And if your opponent's like Feather Duster, um, it would wipe out, like, it would, it's pretty much like saving your feather, or saving your mind, because this would die first before the mind dies, so that's really cool. Um, and then for consistency cards, uh, we play Triple Prosperity. Uh, this card was insane today, like, especially in this deck where it's like, um, you're digging for, like, a specific combination of cards. It was so good. Um, like, you did, like, turn one, are you, like, going second? You can, like, summon a Mono Iwato, activate Prosperity, you don't have to worry about Ash, and then get mine and then slot mine down. Um, it was just insane. Like, this card's insane. Um, triple duality, same thing. It's like a worse version of prosperity, but it works. Um, and then two extrav, uh, just because I didn't want to have, like resolve prosperity and then like draw multiple extravs, because usually you can only resolve one of each per duel. Um, so yeah, it's the ratio for pots. And then I play the one upstart. Um, yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter that you give opponent light points, because like in the end, if you have the lock, a lot of my opponents just like scoop today. Um, so yeah, probably the worst card in my deck was this card was uh, Carter Mize. Um, this card was just like terrible because once you're once you're grinding with your opponent like passing back and forth and like setting up token or counters with your uh, cauldron uh this card just becomes dead um and if you have this with like another pot card you most likely want to use a pot card instead so like this card was uh, pretty bad um and then we play one gold sark uh, i like gold sark because um when you're like building your board or like your not really your board but like your win condition with like having the goddess uh field barrier mine cauldron combo um like you just able to see when you're missing pieces and normally like turn you'll you'll be getting your two turns already so you'll be able to um add like a judgment or a dark bribe just whatever you need to protect your uh your end board uh one day a piece more draw power uh one goddess uh same the, just like the same like you can search with uh god or the um uh with uh gold arc and you just play one because you don't want to see multiple um so yeah standard that then we play the, another Wincon, uh, two Cauldron, um, just standard, just burn your opponent to death. Um, 
I don't really gain that much with this card. I mostly just use it for uh, burning. And then for traps, uh, triple judgment and triple bribe. Uh, just standard cards. They do what they need to do. Um, just protect your mind from back, row and back removal. Um, and then we play two rivalry. Um, I didn't really know what to play for these spots, so I just play rivalry because it's like a good floodgate. Um, in hindsight, I'd probably play something else. Um, not sure what, but uh, definitely change this out because um, it's kind of redundant when you have Mystic Mine up because like your opponent's not going to play regardless. Um, and the extra deck I won't show because I literally just put a um, bunch of ball cards I had in my in my box just so I can have uh, extra targets and prosperity targets. Uh, and then we play Triple Lob Golem. This card was insane. I think my round three opponent was playing like a branded Dragoon deck. Um, and he handed with like Dragoon and DPE. I just Lava Golem him and then uh, activated mine. I was like GG from there. Uh, triple Nib. This was just in case I went against like the tier decks. Um, just being able to do this before they can uh, eradicate it is really good. Uh, triple Dark Ruler. Um, same same thing as uh, Bonnie Wado. Uh, and then Double Unending Nightmare. Um, this was in there just because uh, stuff like Draco, because I, I lost round one against like against Adventure because of Draco back. Um, so I wanted something to like answer Draco back like games two and three. Um, yeah, it's really good. And then two more Floodgates. Uh, these can be like other cards. I uh, just didn't know what else to play. Uh, maybe more going first cards like um, Curse, Seal, the Friend Spell. So hey guys, uh, that's my Mystic Mind deck. Uh, let me know how much you hate it in the uh, comments below. And hopefully you can like and subscribe to my videos. Peace.